Claire, I need you to hop on a plane and go find your Christmas spirit. Go find my Christmas spirit? It's a little town you've never heard of called Twinkle Town. Twinkle Town? That's where I grew up. But I swore I would never go back. I'm not asking. It's an order. Horse poop? My Louis Vuittons? Of course it would be horse poop. My least favorite animal. This place. You want some help with that, little lady? Henry? What are you doing here? I work here. For your granny. Great. My ex-boyfriend and my least favorite animal both stinking up the place. <sighs> You're a lucky girl, Claire. I made a batch of your favorite cookies. Eat up. Thank you, Granny, but I actually don't like horses anymore. I know I used to be a famous barrel racer, but ever since the accident, those days are over. That's okay, darling. It's just as well. This was my last batch in this here kitchen. I'm gonna miss this place. We're losing the farm. Granny, wh why didn't you tell me? I could have helped. No, child. This horse ranch was my dream. Your papa's dream. I wanted you to go live your dream, and you have, out in the big city. If you're happy, Granny's happy. I don't know, Henry. I just think that Granny doesn't understand that horses are a dying industry. They're money pits. I mean, if she would get rid of these horses, then she wouldn't even be in this situation. Dagnab it, Claire. I don't know if you noticed, but you ain't in the city no more. And round here, it ain't all about the money. And those money pits, as you like to call them, that one over there, that was the last one that your daddy bred before he died. And she was his favorite. Bred to race. Have some respect. Don't bring my papa into this. You ain't the only one here hurting, Claire. When he died, your granny not only lost him, but she also lost you. Heck, the whole town lost you. I lost you. I can't be that girl anymore, Henry. Horses are my nemesis. Ever since that day that my dad choked on an olive at the Kentucky Derby and died, I knew I would never ride again. It was a tragedy, but you can't blame the horses. Blame the olives. I can't be a rodeo queen, Henry. Not after what happened to my papa. Easy girl, easy girl. I'm just gonna put this on you. We're gonna do some braking, okay? Hello. I've had it with this horse. She refuses to be caught. Where's she from, Henry? Heck if I know. What does that even matter? You can tell a lot about a person if you know its history. Psh, sounds like big city mumbo jumbo to me. I know you're still mad at me for moving to the big city and dumping you all those years ago, but it was good for me. I needed to experience it alone, and I learned a lot. Well, good for you, Claire, but this ain't the big city. A horse either has it or they don't, and this one don't. We're gonna ship her off to a sail barn in the morning. She's untrainable. Is that what my papa would do? Now you wanna talk about your papa? You know what, I'm gonna try. Stop, Claire, you can't. She's dangerous. And so is the big city, and I conquered that. Claire, it's not like those horse movies. Hey girl, are you from the wild? And you never knew your mom, huh? I know what that's like. Well, I'll be darned. You wanna connect, don't you? You're just scared. I knew it. I stand corrected. Can I put this on you? Will you let me? Okay, let's try. I tell you what, Claire, you're a natural. See, Henry, it just takes patience, just like in the movies. What are you two so happy about? Am I the only one who even cares that Granny's losing this ranch? There's a big race this weekend. Henry's gonna raise Starlight in it. The purse is one million dollars. One million dollars? Why? That's enough to save the ranch. Starlight's really gonna have to give it her all. She hasn't been ridden in 27 years. 
but your papa had an eye for horses, and I'm just going to trust him on this one. If I can find my Christmas spirit, maybe Starlight can too. Where is that whippersnapper, Henry? We're going to be late for the show. Henry! Henry! Uh, 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 uh. Henry! Uh, Henry! Hear me? Henry, Henry, what happened? Uh, Henry, what happened? I tripped in the mud and I broke my leg. Oh, Henry, this looks really bad. We're going to have to take you to the doctors. No, no, there's no time. We have to get you to the race. Claire, you're gonna have to do it. Oh, Henry, I just can't. I swore I'd never ride again. Plus, I haven't ridden in years. No, Claire, you're a natural. And now that you've found your Christmas spirit, you and Starlight will be unstoppable. I'm putting my foot down. I'm taking you to the hospital. And then I'm gonna go win that race. Yahoo! Okay, Starlight, you knew my papa. He bred you for racing, and he thought he, you'd be really good at it. So let's go out there and make him proud, okay? Next up, we have Claire Littleton on Starlight, a racehorse if I've ever seen one. Here she goes, taking the first barrel. They're gonna have to speed up if they wanna win it. She picks up speed here at the second barrel, but will it be fast enough? Starlight looks like she's full of Christmas spirit here. Maybe she could lead Santa's sleigh this year. She's got the speed, that's for sure. Oh, here we go, the last barrel. She's almost done it, folks. And they did it, 7.1 seconds, a new world record. We did it, Starlight. I can't believe we really did it. We saved the ranch. That's for you, Papa. That's for you. Merry Christmas. Well, Claire, you won the race and you saved the farm. Now you can go back to the big city with your head held high. I may have won the race, Henry, but you, you won my heart. You mean it? It's snowing outside. Look at that. It's a tradition on the first snow to kiss whoever you're sitting with. Now that's a tradition I can get in on. Come here. Mm. Mm. Maybe what this lost generation needed was a Christmas miracle.